Hi guys, this is Alvis. So today we're going to see about how to make a wildcard subdomain. For that first, we need to configure the AWS Route 53. So if you guys use AWS own hosted zone, you could follow this. All you have to do is go ahead and click on create record. And then over here for the subdomain name, you have to give it a star. The star implies that you can keep any of the name over here and it will redirect to this current domain route. So in this scenario, you notice where it's going to be pointing at. We're going to leave it as simple IPv4 address. That's an A type record. Then we we'll need to go and create our own instance. For that we'll launch an instance. We'll use Ubuntu. We don't need to change any of this, just the security group add HTTP, which we are going to use. We allow everyone, yeah. And then click review and launch. Once you do that, click on launch instance. You can go ahead and view the instance. We'll name it wildcard demo. Then we'll copy the IPv4 address and then paste it over here in the route 53. Once you paste it, all you need to just click on create record. It should work. The record's been created. Right now, you need to connect it to the instance and host your Flask application. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll click on connect and copy this. Okay, go ahead, run it again. Yeah, now we are inside the EC2 instance. So now we need to install Konda. This is a Konda installation command. You can find it under wiki.tacti.com forward slash mini Konda. Then you have to press enter and go through all the instruction. I think it's licensing agreement. So I have to skip all that. Type in S and then now we have to exit this. Once you exit, just keep this in your clipboard. Click yes. Icon has been installed. Now we have to exit this and then connect back in okay now we'll paste this then it should work we'll clear the screen so what we need to do now is i would have attached a link below to my code which is a default flask application just copy that it's a very default application where I just import Flask and then I input a bunch of other stuff which we don't need right now. I'll just explain it along the way. We'll create a directory called Flask app CD Flask app. Now we go into a nano editor app.py. Then we paste the command. So now this should host the application. Yes, yes. And then we'll create another file called tactic. 
we'll add another file called alvis.py actually alvis app.py and then we'll go ahead and copy the program from over here just paste it control x yes enter so we need to install pip right now so first we'll update the apt package <coughs> once it's updated we'll go ahead and sudo apt install python3 pip s Yeah. Now we'll go ahead and install sudo pip install flask. The command is pip3. Yeah, once it's installed, we'll go ahead and launch the application sudo python3 app.py. So now the application is running successfully and we are pointing the route 53 to its direction. So all you need to do is go to your URL, type anything over here, hello.artistics.com. It will say your tenant name over here. I'm not sure why it's not showing. Yeah, we didn't change the server name, so we'll go do that again. As you go to inside app.py, you need to change it to artistics.com, whatever your server name is. So once you fix that, it should work. We'll type in hello again. Now you can see the hello shows up over here. But once you put Alvis, It'll direct you a different application, which is present over here. That's how you do it. Thank you.